At the Council of Europe, we help countries worldwide better cooperate against cybercrime. We do this on the basis of the Budapest Convention on Cybercrime. We now have 60 parties. In recent weeks, we had Argentina, Capo Verde, Morocco and the Philippines join this treaty. In addition to those 60 countries, we have another 11 countries that have signed it or been invited to exceed, and another 70 countries, that's two-thirds of UN member states, have used this treaty as a guideline for developing domestic legislation. This is a great achievement. The second thing we have is the Cybercrime Convention Committee, that is the parties to the convention, the Budapest Convention. The Cybercrime Convention Committee is assessing the implementation of this treaty to make sure that it's, actually, it's effectively applied in, in the parties. The Cybercrime Convention Committee is, can also negotiate additions to the treaty, like a protocol to the Budapest Convention, and this is currently underway. And the third thing we have is capacity building. Countries need to be able to apply this treaty in practice. They need to strengthen the legislation. For that reason, four years ago, we established a specific cybercrime program office, which is based in Romania. And from there, we help countries anywhere in the world, in Europe, in Africa, in Latin America, in Asia, in the Pacific, to strengthen their capacities to deal with cybercrime and to engage in effective international cooperation. So this is our approach. And once every 18 months or so, we organize an octopus conference. An octopus conference on cooperation against cybercrime. This is to bring all the work streams together, to bring all our counterparts, all the countries that we work with together here in Strasbourg. And that conference also gives us new ideas to see how we can best tackle new challenges. This year's conference will focus on all sorts of complicated topics difficult topics, cyber violence, the issue of attacks against democracy, and many others. But the primary focus is on accessing electronic evidence. The question is basically this. If law enforcement needs data, and the data is not on a particular device, but it is somewhere on the cloud, in multiple countries, in unknown jurisdictions, scattered over different jurisdictions, how can law enforcement deal with that? This will be the topic of this year. The question of electronic evidence in the cloud and accessing it for law enforcement purposes touches upon a number of issues, including data protection questions, uh, the interests of industry, of service providers, civil society has many concerns. This is why in the Octopus Conference this year, we will have consultations with industry, with civil society organizations and with data protection experts to help us devise solutions that are effective for law enforcement, but at the same time also meet human rights and rule of law standards. The results of these deliberations will feed into a protocol to the Budapest Convention. Work on this protocol started September last year and hopefully by the end of next year, by the end of 2019, we have a functioning protocol in place. The challenges of cybercrime the challenges of electronic evidence are extremely complicated issue. They touch upon all sorts of rights, all sorts of core interests, rights of individuals, interests of states. It's very complicated to find a consensus on that. But I do hope that we will succeed. I do hope that we will be in a better position by the end of next year once this protocol is in place to protect your rights, to protect my rights and to protect all of us against crime in cyberspace.